deck profile that I'm actually really extremely curious about how it's going to do this format because I've been testing it out here on Dueling Network and it's actually been testing pretty well. I used to try it out a long time ago and the deck just didn't show the potential that I wanted it to. But now with Synchros and Exceeds out, I don't have any in the extra deck yet. You can't see that. I'm just kind of playing around with it first. But with Synchros and Exceeds and stuff like that out that weren't out the last time I tried it, this deck has actually gained a lot more potential than I used to have it. The deck is Sanctuary-based agents. We'll go over the contents before we go over the combos. Um, you got your one Honest. You got three Dimensional Alchemist. Three Zeradius. Double Herald of Orange. Three Master Hyperion. Three Agent of Miracles. Two Agent of Earth. And two Archlord Christia. On the spells, we have three Sanctuary in the Sky. Three cards from the sky, two pot of duality, one monster reborn, one dark hole, and two mystical space typhoon. I am looking for a way to fit in heavy storm, even though heavy storm in kind of bones the sanctuary in the sky a little bit. Let's continue. You've got three miraculous descent, three divine punishment, two solemn warning, and one solemn judgment. I think one of these is going to come out for the heavy storm. But basically, the point of the deck is to spam your banished fairies. Like, you're supposed to banish stuff with Dimensional Alchemist to kind of get the deck going. Um, Zeradius fills up the graveyard for Christia and also allows you to add your Sanctuary in the Sky to your hand. And, uh, of course, Christia is just broken because you can spam it with, um, you know, its regular Special Summon, Jupiter, and Miraculous Descent. Basically, Sanctuary in the Sky opens this deck up a lot because it gives Hyperion... Jupiter and um, Earth, their second effects. Earth lets you search for Hyperion instead of an agent if you want to, if you've got the Sanctuary. Jupiter says you can discard a Fairy-type monster from your hand while Sanctuary is on the board to special summon any banished Fairy, Light Fairy. And Master Hyperion allows you a second pop for another remove per turn if you control a Sanctuary in the sky. And basically another very powerful card the deck has is Divine Punishment, because if the Sanctuary in the Sky is on the field, you can activate it, and it's like an Infernity Barrier. Plus some Miraculous Descent's Assist in helping get your Banished Fairies back. I mean, what in here banishes? There's Cards from the Sky, which we can actually afford to skip a battle phase for a turn now. By banishing the Fairy, you draw two, and you can't Special Summon, and you can't Conduct a Battle Phase. You have your Dimensional Alchemist, which start removing a bunch of stuff from play. And you have your Jupiter, which removes agents, plus your Master Hyperion also removes a lot of fairies from play. And then also this deck fills up the graveyard pretty fast for Christia's normal special summon condition. Because you've got your Honest, you've got your Zeradiuses, which you pitch to add the Sanctuary to your hand, and you've got double Herald of Orange Light. When I used to run this deck, I didn't like Herald of Orange because they used to rule that only did cards your opponent controls. But they cleared up that really, really awkward text that like this card was a tcg exclusive and then they took it over to japan and they translated it to any monster and that basically turned into a translation error on the tcg's part for a card that never even existed so they gave us the effect that said anytime an opponent's effect monster activates or effect monster's effect activates so it's pretty cool. And the pot of dualities and the cards from the sky kind of combo off together pretty well because you can't special summon already, so what's the point? And then, of course, you know, you got staples here. The entire deck just kind of combos and kind of goes balls to the wall with special summons and stuff. But that's about it, guys. Rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Tell me I'm a scrub for building this deck. And I actually might run this at a regional. Not going to lie. I'm actually really liking it, especially since the format is completely undefined. I have a regional on September 1st, like the day the list goes into effect. So since the format's really undefined, I really think this deck can make an appearance. So rate, comment, subscribe, guys. Let me know what you think. Peace out.